Do you know how indexes work in SQL? The concept of indexes are inspired by the real life ideas of indexes of books which consist of separate pages that maps chapters to the page number. So when searching specific chapter, there is no need to search all the pages. You can directly access the index page to find the chapter's location which improves the searching speed. Similar to the books where data is stored on different pages, SQL stored data in table format with the rows stored in various sectors of a hard disk. Searching for something in the table involves bringing all these rows from sectors to the RAM and then searching into that table which is time consuming process especially in large table. Just like a books we can use indexes in SQL. Indexes in a book map the chapter to the page number while in SQL index table maps the ID of a row which is the index column to the actual address or a sector where the record is located in the hard disk. So instead of going through all the sectors of a hard disk you can access the index table which will give you actual address of that record in hard disk. Searching in the index table is also so fast because it's sorted based on index column which allows us to use binary search which will improve the further speed of a searching operation. Using indexes we don't need to bring all the records to the RAM or search through all the table records during the search query. That's how indexes improve the speed of search query in SQL. Indexes improve the speed of search query but we should not apply index to all the columns of a table. This is because when you create index on a column SQL creates a separate table that maps value of the column to the actual address or sectors where that row is stored in a hard disk. Since we are creating separate table, it requires additional space. So every time when we create index on a column, an additional table will get created which consumes lot of space. Another reason is index table is sorted by default. So we can apply binary search operation for searching the query. However, since table is sorted, insertion of a new row becomes time consuming operation. We cannot simply add the record at the end of a table. We have to find the accurate location based on sorting and then add it. If you create multiple index table you have to insert the new row in all this table which is time consuming process. So index comes with a trade off. They improve the search speed but reduces the speed of insertion operation and also consumes additional memory. That's why we should not apply indexes to all the columns of a table. That's it for today's video. Subscribe to my channel for more such videos.